Hi, this is Dr. Yad, and today I'll be teaching you how to read ABGs in three minutes, which is going to be very useful for your clinical practice. Let's start. What do we look at? First, we look at the pH, and then we look at three parameters that affect the pH, the CO2, the bicarbonate, and the lactate. Now, the first step is looking at the pH. Simply put, if the pH is less than 7.35, it's acidosis. If it's more than 7.45, it's alkalosis. Step two is looking at the CO2. Now, what does the CO2 do? It's the main mechanism that the lungs regulate blood pH. Now, remember the acronym ROBE. Respiratory is opposite. So, if the pH is low and the CO2 is high, it's respiratory acidosis. If the pH is high and the CO2 is low, it's respiratory acidosis alkalosis. So the pH and the CO2 have to be opposite to each other. Now, if they're not, if the CO2 is normal or not opposite to the pH, then we look at the bicarb. Now, bicarbonate is the main way the kidneys regulate um, pH balance. So if your pH is low and your bicarb is also low, then this is metabolic acidosis. If your pH is high, and your bicarb is also high, then this is metabolic alkalosis. Now, given that, that it doesn't meet our previous criteria where the pH and the CO2 are opposite to each other. Now, step four is checking for compensation. Now, CO2 and bicarbonate counteract each other to neutralize the pH to bring it back to normal. Now, if they're counteracting each other and they've not normalized the pH yet, this is partial compensation. If they're counteracting each other and fully compensated, this is a fully compensated um, disturbance. Let's look at the second example. If the pH is low, CO2 is high, so respiratory acidosis. Bicarb is also high, so this is a respiratory acidosis with partial compensation. Let's practice. Patient with COPD exacerbation, typical um, case, and this is your ABG. So first thing we look at the pH is less than 7.35, so it's acidosis. That's one. Number two, we look at the CO2. So if you see the pH is low, but the CO2 is high, so they're against each other, this is a respiratory acidosis. The third, we look for compensation. Bicarbonate is also high. So pH low, CO2 high, bicarb high, this is a respiratory acidosis with partial compensation. Okay? It's partial because the pH is still not back to normal. Quiz time. Elderly patient with diarrhea and vomiting, this is the ABG. What pH disturbance is there? Put your answer in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe.